Hello, good day. Have you ever seen that Nike advert where they use the tagline, impossible is nothing? Well, I just topped it up a few notches. Impossible is nonsense. Total nonsense. If we get to a point where we have to achieve something, I'm not the kind of guy that takes impossible as an excuse. Now, here is my reason. I'll use this video to explain to you in a minute or two. All right, see. If you get to a point where you have to achieve something, I want you to know this secret. There are usually more than a million ways in which something cannot work. But then, there is at least half a dozen ways in which anything achievable by a human can work. Anything. Half a dozen ways. Now, if you want to achieve something, you only need one reason. Now, that is why people who don't want to do something, they can find one million excuses because there are at least a million ways in which anything achievable cannot work. Now, once something enters your mind, penetrates your mind, it is no longer impossible. It can no longer be 100% possible. Once that concept has entered your mind, that thought, that idea has entered your mind, it can at most be 99.99% impossible. It can no longer be 100% impossible. Or be following the half a dozen laws or rule, what you just have to do is find the half a dozen ways in which it can be achieved. Then draw the path from where you are currently to how you can achieve it. All right, I'll give you an example with um, a question. Then we'll see how we can just link it up. Is it possible for a human being to sit at a place and be carried to another place? Can a human being sit without walking, without moving, and transport, be transported to another place? Now, right now, it's easy for you to say yes because it has been done, but, but four or five thousand years ago, someone would say it's impossible until someone decided that, no, I'm not going to take impossible for an answer, and they walk towards it. Then someone realized that, hey, what if I can sit on an animal, and this animal carries me? That was how someone came up with a horse. After trying so many animals, zebras, lions, bears, someone decided to come up with a horse. The horse is the best way. Then someone somewhere discovered that, hey, I can use elephants, and people ride elephants. Someone somewhere discovered that, hey, what, what if I don't sit on the animal directly to avoid being jumpy on the animal? What, what, if, I, what if I sit on a more comfortable seat, then tie it to the animal? So someone invented wheels and put a seat on top of the wheels. That is chariots, that is carts. They use, they tie the cart to the horse and horses drive it. And someone somewhere discovered that, hey, I could use dogs on a sledge instead of, instead of horses. So these things continue to advance until the invention of steam engines. So someone realized, hey, I don't need animals. I can build this little room, comfortable room around this engine and add wheels to it. And I can go to anywhere I want to. That was how Henry Ford and some other great inventors came up with cars. All right, these days you can even sit and be flown to another place with airplanes. These days you can sit at a spot and be flown to another planet. One of these days we'll come up with teleportation. If anybody tells you that teleportation is impossible, don't believe them. It's just a matter of time. So if anything ever comes into your mind, once it penetrates your your mind, once that concept, that imagination comes in, it is no longer 100% impossible. It is now possible by fractions of a percentage at least. All you just have to do is find this half a dozen ways in which it can work. Then out of that half a dozen ways, find the easiest, the shortest path, the fastest path, the most effective path to it. Then go ahead and get it done. If anybody ever tells you anything is impossible, don't tell them impossible is nothing. Tell them impossible is nonsense. We're not taking it any longer. Thank you very much. My name is Dave Ozalo. Follow me on any social media at Dave Ozalo. And like and share this video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.